All right, guys, so here's a quick update on the build. Um, again, it's complete. Uh, we have everything running pretty good. Uh, these are the specs. We actually have it overclocked to about 4 gigahertz with uh, 20 by 200 or 200 by 20, should I say, multiplier. Uh, at a V core of or core voltage of 1.35, which is not that bad. Um, so those are the specs of the uh, processor. And we actually have Prime 95 running. It's been running for almost, actually a little over than, a little over an hour. Um, and these are the temperatures. Um, let's see here. Uh, we got Core Zero sitting around 70 degrees. And as you can see, um, we're using actually hardware monitor or made by CPUID. And the max temperature that we actually got was a 72 degrees C with a minimum temperature of 42, um, which is pretty good, I think, for having Prime 95 running for about an hour. Um, we started Prime 95 around 11.44 this morning, and it is now about 12.50, so uh, a little over an hour, which kind of pisses me off <laughs> for the fact that when I had this board and I had it overclocked, my i7 overclocked to 4 gigahertz, uh, even though uh, I did, <coughs> excuse me, even though if I did had to um, uh, tweak the voltages lower, it still wasn't getting um, this low of a temperature uh, on this motherboard, which is the Asus Maximus 3. So that kind of pisses me off a little bit. Now that I sold it, and now it's not mine anymore, and I'm getting good temperatures, um, makes me wish that I had kept it and built another system, but you know, whatever. Who cares? But yeah, again, there are the, the voltages. Right there. Um, so yeah, that's the temperature update on the overclock. Again, at four gigahertz, stable. I actually ran it uh, a couple days ago for 24 hours and temperatures were pretty much the same. So this is a, a stable Prime 95 for 24 hours and Intel burn test um, using 32 uh, bits or something like that. Um, uh, also stable. So here are temperatures and again for those of you who want to overclock your i5 uh, these are pretty much the voltages and settings I did. Um, everything else in the BIOS is pretty much either set to low voltages like the uh, the VTT voltages and PLL and all that stuff and everything else oh and also the memory is also set to 1.65 uh, volts um, for the memory and everything else is pretty much on auto um, and I turned off all you know C-step and and all that stuff uh, V-droop well not V-droop because it's an ASUS board but the equivalent of V-droop all turned off hyper threading is actually turned on as well so actually no I take that back the i5s don't have hyper threading so there's not even a uh, an option for it. Thanks guys for watching.